I'm going to show you the improved lure knot. It's what I use to tie the jig head um, to the trace line when I'm fishing soft plastics for snapper and jewfish and, and those sorts of demersal species or you know, even the Samson fish. This is one of the Seal Star soft plastics, um, six inches long, it's white, quite a flimsy tail. Caught some nice fish on these so far, I'm pretty impressed with them. Quite stretchy, last a while, so definitely worth checking out. But um, So the jig head, <coughs> again, just running that 40 pound suffix Super 21. I like the fluorocarbon, obviously it helps become invisible underwater. Um, so just trim a small amount of trace. I won't be using this just for demonstration purposes so your jig head trace line first thing you want to do is tie a small granny knot in the trace line nice and simple easy as pass your tag end through the end of your your jig head or if you're using a popper or a diver or whatever lure you are then you pass the tag end up through the grain knot you created. Bring the loop down. Wrap the tag end around the main line about six times. And then again, pass through the opposite way of the loop, the grain knot you created. And with that tag end and then another loop you created, I'm going to pass the tag and back up through that and that'll actually lock the knot out so it'll start to look like this always moisten your knots bit of saliva and then as you pull tight you always want to try and pull evenly from the tag end the main line end and the lure end it'll lock the knot out nicely improve lure knot. So normally you wouldn't have such a big loop. You'd make sure the loop is actually pulled down a bit closer to the end of the lure. But what that allows is absolute freedom for that lure to move uh, when you're using it. So if you're jigging the lure and it's bouncing around, there's a lot more freedom for it to move rather than having a direct knot tied to it such as a uni knot or, or a blood knot, or, you know, improved um, improved blood knot, etc. like that. It locks out on the actual eyelet. This this knot is mainly used for divers and, and poppers, but I've just always been using it for the cheek heads. Find it works quite well. Never had an issue with it. Super simple. That's that one. <laughs>